Good morning. Hello, everyone. This is Mauricia Anglade with God's Power Couple and Eat to Lose Boot Camp, as well as She is Whole, all that. Um, hello again. Um, it's been a long time since I posted something up. The busyness of life, simplifying my life more and more each day so I won't be so busy. I think I'm reaching that goal. I wanted to share with you about emotions. I did not know how much, well, I kind of knew, but forgot and didn't apply it to me because I wasn't paying attention to somewhat the stress that had transpired in my life over the period of years, um, especially in my 20s, and how those emotions, those stresses, those anxieties play a role and played a role in me having fibroids. And I'm a person I like to dig deep. I'm about health. I'm conscious about health. Um, I love to be healthy and I love to do the things that promote me to be healthy. Even if I'm not always following what I'm supposed to do, I do enjoy those things. It's better to be healthy than to be sick. So trying to figure out why there's not one doctor that I have found can figure out why fibroids comes about. You know, why does it even exist in a body? You know, you can pinpoint what causes high blood pressure. You can pinpoint what causes cholesterol and other types of diseases. But almost every research says they can't pinpoint what causes fibroids. So I digged and I digged. Of course, I'm already suspected food. You know, like some of the things they're putting in foods that are not natural and your body's trying to find out what is this. And, you know, and I believe it creates a mutation in the body because of the things that they put in the foods and we're not eating natural. We're eating a lot of things that are packaged in a box. And I wasn't always a total vegetarian. I wasn't total vegetarian until I was about 30, close to 30. And so for up to 20, up to 30 years, close to 30 years, I was eating unhealthy, eating a lot of cheese, a lot of um, dairy products, um, a lot of meat. And so the damage was already being done. On top of that, I'm stressed. Didn't know anything about GMO, MSG, and all of that other stuff. All that good stuff. Um, so lo and behold, and by the age of 31, um, I found out I had fibroids. It does run in my family, but I'm eating the same food that my mother ate. But here's another thing that I found out. I had the same type of anxiety and stress my mother had. So when I dug deep um, to find out what else other than food can cause fibroids, and it's stress, stress, um, anxiety, whatever you want to call stress, anxiety, depression, um, anything that caused your body to grieve can create a mutation in your body. It breaks down the immune system and whatever runs in your genes you're susceptible to have that and it may not run in your genes you might be the first person to have that but your body usually attacks what is the weakest in in your system what is the weakest part of your your system your what is the weakest organ in your body that it can attack and that's where attack and for about 10 years i stressed and, and had anxiety about the same thing and that was success um school um, most people probably had their first broken heart from a guy or um, if you're a guy listening to this from a woman or you know what have you or your parents um, for mine it was school I put a whole I put school I made school like a god so to speak a friend of mine told me that and so for years because I felt like a failure when I didn't see myself succeeding the way I would like to succeed and didn't know the damage. Had I known the damage, I wouldn't have stressed so much. I wouldn't put so much pressure on my body, on my mind for years, for years, for years, for years. And guess how long? I, I said it, 10 years. And so from 20 up, um, yeah, no, a little bit under 20, so about maybe 19, to all the way up until my late 20s, lo and behold, I created a stress in my body that created this problem that I have now. And now I'm now that I found a link other than food, stress, I'm 
I'm finding now other people that are finding the same thing that stress is a link to fibroids. So guess what? Now with the healing, with the changing of food and the detox that I'm doing now, because I don't want to get surgery and I'll share my experience, um, conversate, I'll have a conversation with that in another video. Um, but I never want ha to have my body cut. So if I get pregnant, when I get pregnant and I have to have a cesarean, uh, but you know, I don't willingly want to go cut my body. That's a personal choice. And if I could do anything to shrink and re um, have my fibroids to disappear because of the lifestyle changes I'm going on now, even more, more than I was doing before to um, heal my body of these fibroids, then that's what I want to do. I don't want to get cut. Um, I don't want to get cut. And so I'm now making sure I do an inventory, an inventory of my body that I am releasing everything. If there's anyone I have not forgiven, that I had to do an inventory of that to make sure that I forgave them, I let it go. If I have to make a conversation, then I do that. But I had to make sure I let it go. To make sure I forgave myself or I forgive myself of anything that I might have done that I hold in my heart. And taking away these negative thoughts or emotions that I have of myself. Um, anything that is not positive, making sure that I'm not having it here that's affecting my whole body. So that was the inventory I had to do. I had to do a self inventory to make sure spiritually I'm not holding to any negativity. And so I prayed. Um, the other thing that I did was I created a Bible affirmation, uh, find all the things that talk about healing as well as pregnancy because um, my goal is to get pregnant other than healing these thyroids. And, and so that's what I did. I did a lot of, I cut, found all the words that affirm and agree with what the Bible, what God says about healing and opening the womb. And I repeat those things to believe it and let God knows, hey, this is what you said. Um, the other thing is that I started juicing um, for several days and I did several enemas and took the smooth move, aka Senna, to clean myself out. And, and now I'm doing this. This is one of my juicing that I'm doing. So for breakfast, I'm having apple, cucumber, organic, um, apple, cucumber, and parsley. I also was going to have um, celery in there, but I ran out of celery. So just right now, apple, cucumber, um, and parsley in this juice. And I added um, wheatgrass. I had powdered wheatgrass that I added to this, a teaspoon of that. That's what makes it extra green and very good. It's apple. Mm. Um, I do not mix the fruits and vegetables. That's just my thing. And so these were all fruits, um, minus the parsley. And watercress. I'm sorry. Was it watercress that I added? Either one, watercress or parsley. Um, and then for lunch, I'm going to have carrot, beets, and kale carrot beets and kale for lunch and dinner and i probably do a broth a potato broth um for supper um maybe if i'm hungry i haven't been really hungry and drinking a lot of water drinking a lot of water and my teas um that i've made the miss um, milk tissel the um, dandelion for the liver the burdock for the blood the danquan danquai for my homos the chase tree for the fibroids and um, kelp or dulce for the iodine and minerals in that and alfalfa for the vitamins that it has and that's what I've been drinking also to add for my water intake but and I'm walking and making sure that I diminish the stress and release all of that and praying and believing in God but stress is horrible all that you can do to alleviate it, do that day by day. Talk to God in the morning. Have your morning devotion. Walking is beautiful. And sleeping on time. My goal, my fight was to sleep before, go to bed before 10. Um, I've been sometimes good going at 1030. But 10 o'clock, if you could be asleep, that's another part of the healing. So these are things that I'm doing um, to take care of my body. I did lose weight. I don't know if you can tell in my face, but I did lose weight. I wasn't trying to. I didn't want to, but I feel great. 
I have a, like a 20 year old body, <laughs> but 40 years old. So I guess it's not a bad thing, but I'm 105 now. Um, so I lost about, I had already lost um, some pounds going back to the way I eat as a vegan with um, not eating late um, that I talk about in my book and not snacking in between having a good breakfast, a good lunch and a light so supper, spacing out the meals five to six hours in between. And so that made me lose weight. And then so I was hanging at one, 110, 111, um, 113 maybe, but under 113. And then so now I'm 105, 105. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I was 105, probably about, been about maybe almost 10 years. Um, but anyway, I'm at 105 now, and um, I don't know what I'm gonna stop the juice in, but I am gonna be incorporating some food, which will probably be potatoes and kale, increasing my greens and definitely having some raw salads. Um, so I'm doing some juicing and raw salads now. And just the other day, I had just some organic potato and collard greens was my basic um, lunch. And then I went back to juicing again. So that's what I'm doing. I'll give you the update. I do feel great. I'm just, again, managing the stress, trying to simplify my life, removing more things and prioritizing and balancing things out so that um, I don't feel the stress and telling people no. Yes, no, I'm busy. I can't do that. You know, you'll be the mean, you be the mean one. You'll be the mean woman. Um, but if it helps to not pile up things in your plate because you want your body to heal you want your mind to be free and you know for me you know the fibroids as well as getting um pregnant god willing god willing um i know it has to be his will but i'm praying and believing that fibroids will be gone i don't know how long this is going to take <laughs> so but i'm not going to try to be impatient but um i just enjoy the health part being healthy and I did do this a couple of months, uh, no, a couple of days before my cycle. So if you have fibroids, you'll know that fibroids can be painful for some women. And for me, depending on how I eat, sometimes it's, it's, it's okay, it's horrible, and it's, you know, it's great. Um, but last month, I don't know why it was horrible, but this month was okay. And I knew it was because I did the enemas. Um, I don't know if that's too much information, but I did a couple of days of the enema and um, I started juicing and the pain was very little and the nausea was very little. I did still feel the fatigue that I get and um, so I had to lay down in bed for several hours and the next day I felt good. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, sometimes you have to take extreme measures. Being vegan is not enough. You may have to do some detoxing and juicing the natural way. I'm not buying anything um, in a pill. I'm detoxing through food. Um, I'm not detoxing using some powder. Um, just through the food, the enemas, and taking some teas that helps to deliver the blood and the immune system. I forgot to add, I did add echinacea. Um, I did add echinacea to my mix of teas. And, um, and that's it. So I'll keep you updated. I'll show you some other stories about some other things about wanting to be pregnant and um, starting that journey. Been married three years, three years, going on four next year, March. And we didn't try until um, la late last year. So out of the three years we've been married, we've been trying about almost a year, almost a year, yes about a year about a year you know but have some very funny stories about that but um <laughs> it's been 15 minutes if you hanged in there with me with 15 minutes you do not have attention disorder have a great and awesome day until next time be healthy